I was just ha hanging out with the one, the only, the shark himself, Mr. Damon John. Appreciate it, my brother. Out here doing what we do because this, we are just getting started. Kevin Samuels did not come up with the concept of high value man. It's been around for a long time, just like alpha male and beta male and all this other stuff. What I did is I put some parameters and, some de and a definition to it that lined up with a lot of my clients and a lot of the men that I know and a lot of the women who say they want certain men. And we spent the better part of a year and some change figuring this out. Uh, I'm going to look down at the, and the likes aren't over 2,500. I'm going to shut the chat off. We spent the better part of a year and a half discussing the concept of a high value man. Now, the funny thing is many people may disagree with my, my quote unquote version of a high value man. And that's French toast ass fine. But what you rarely ever hear is someone saying that the concept of a high value man is not true. Men know there is a ranking amongst us. And we know that in order to compete and get the things we want as men, we must rank. Men aren't stupid. Men aren't dumb. We know these things. So if that's true, then the converse must be true as well. If there is a high value man, there also must be a high value woman. Not necessarily. A woman that's highly valuable is not, is not necessarily a woman who is highly wanted or desired. See, there's a, there's a desired woman and a woman that's in demand. On Instagram, you can find a lot of women that are desired. Oh my God, you can go many places and see women who are desired. But just like money alone does not make a man high value, being desired alone does not make you uh, really in demand. So if there's a high value man, there also must be a uh, most wanted woman or a high demand woman. Pick your poison. Now, what are some things that a high demand woman need to have? Glad you asked. Let's get into it. Glad you asked. Let's get into it. Okay. Uh, let me also uh, start reading some of these super chats too. I'm gonna do my best. To, when I'm on the road, guys, it's much harder to stay on top of all this stuff. So I'll do my best to uh, read the super chats and things as they go. Um, let's see. But if you wanna talk on the platform, you need to be a member and also hit that Patreon. Da -da 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 da All right. So here we go. All right, a woman that's in high demand, a high demand, a high demand woman or a most wanted woman, similar to a high value man, these are women that are across the board in any economy, any system of governance, any time in history, these women were traditionally typically sought after. They were most wanted. High demand, meaning if you have a demand for something, let's say, um, let's say something everybody can use, an iPhone. An iPhone is too common. See, luxury items, uh, that's not even, I don't want to use that because that's not most people. Things that are in high demand are in typically are in short supply. Okay? Basic economics. Things that are in high demand tend to have supply issues. Okay? 
because if the demand is high and the supply is high, uh, I don't want to get too far into economics. Just let's look at it this way. If you're in high demand, that's cool, but you also got to be wanted. See, toilet tissue is in high de- is, is is in demand, and it's also wanted. Nobody wants to wipe their hand with twigs. I mean, like their butt with twigs or their hand. There's a common, there's a there has to be a mix of desirability, demand, and being just out wanted. The the hierarchy of needs, and these women have typically been the most wanted women, the highest demand women. And get your pen and pencil out because here goes the lesson. Hit the super chat, get them up. Let's get them up because I'm about to teach. Ladies, if you ask yourself, are you a most wanted woman? Are you a most wanted woman? I know a lot of women think they are, but I'm going to tell you, uh, let's judge based upon the things that the kind of men you ladies want, want from a woman. Most wanted woman, high demand women, First, it starts off above everything else with a mindset. You could be drop dead gorgeous. You could be feminine. You could you could be a, a literal Venus de Milo of a photograph of a, of a sculpture. But if your mindset is jacked up, you may be desired, but you're not necessarily wanted or in demand. What you're wanted for, the demand for you may be physical. So the desirability of a woman, if it's just if it's if it's on the physical, it's generally just for a short-term sexual, whatever. When I say mindset, appreciate it, my friend. Appreciate it, folks. If you don't want to, if you don't want your 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 donation or support of the platform to be seen by everybody, I know a lot of folks. I know there are a lot of people who watch the show, love the show. They're like, man, I don't want to get trolled. I don't want these crazy folks who hate you to be flaming me up. So hit the cash app. That's how you support me without without getting the backlash. Just hit the cash app. Okay? A woman that's in high demand, I mean, a woman that's most wanted or in high demand has a mindset. Well, damn, Kevin, that's 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 that that should go without saying. Yeah. But what is her mindset? Now let's get into it. Her mindset is three main things. She's cooperative. She's smart. And she's agreeable. See, all three of those things must be there. She must be smart. But a woman that's smart and disagreeable is not a woman that's in high demand. She's not a woman that's really wanted. A woman who's smart and cooperative but not agreeable is kind of useless because she'll only cooperate when she agrees. All the A woman who's cooperative and agreeable but not smart is kind of is also kind of just blind leading the blind. She must be smart, cooperative, and agreeable. Agreeable, cooperative, smart. Whatever you want to say, ACS. That's the basis of that mindset. Now, I know a lot of folks are going to be like, oh, wait a minute, hold on, man. Oh, y'all been banging on femininity for the longest. I thought it was about the femininity. Uh, no. You can be feminine and not smart. What good? This is where, this is where the PhD I'm a PhD have an argument because there's book smart and there's common sense smarts. You want to blend of both because a woman that's in high demand or most wanted is a, going to be the mother of your children. She's going to be the one who guards the castle. She needs to be smart. She needs to be able to make decisions. She doesn't need to sit there and look like a, 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 a pretty thing. So when women talk about, I just inspire my man, uh, no. You don't just inspire a man by your beauty. Oftentimes, men are inspired by a woman's intellect. It's how she chooses to show that intellect, whether it's overbearing or whether it's done um, 
or whether it's done in a way that's palatable to his ego. Yes, yes, ladies, you're going to have to be palatable to a man's ego. If you don't want to do that, knock it, just go ahead and just exit stage left. You must be palatable to a man's ego, or this is a non-starter. If not, go get a go get a lady. Go get a girlfriend or something. I mean, but women have egos as well. Okay? All right, so here we go. A most wanted woman has a mindset that's, that's agreeable, cooperative, and above all, smart. I think smarts is a is is more than anything else. I only I don't deal with women that aren't smart. You know, I'm a guy, my person, now this is my personal thing. I'm attracted to intelligence and beauty. So that's a rare mix, because a lot of times, anyway, so if you have these things, kudos for you. And thing is, if a man is a, a high earner, top 10%, 5%, 3%, 1%, percentage of, that man is going to be dealing with things that he didn't deal with when he was a minimum wage earner. A woman needs to be able to manage all that as well. She can't just be sitting there waiting for marching orders. She needs to bring something to the table. And in this regard, a mindset. Her mindset is so important. And there are other things that can go into a mindset, but I'm talking about the basics. The, the dough, the sauce, the cheese. <laughs> basis of the pizza. I'm not talking about everything that goes on the pizza. I'm talking about the basis. The basics of the pizza. Okay, what is the next thing? And women who were in most demand. What is the next thing? Anybody want to guess? Anybody want to guess what is the next thing? Uh, we need another 800 likes, guys. I'm going to give you 30 seconds. I'm going to shout out the chat room. The next thing. The next thing in a most wanted woman are a highly a, a high demand woman. She must be fit. I know a lot of women are going to balk at this, but listen to what I'm saying before you start complaining. Physically fit, mentally fit. Physically fit, she must be in good shape. Why? Because fitness uh, uh, is about two things. Well, about three things, I'm sorry. Three things, the three Ds. Discipline, dedication, and discernment. Discipline, dedication, and discernment. A woman that is fit is a disciplined woman. She has the discipline to, to, to stick to a, a diet, a workout routine, to follow through on something that she starts. The discipline. She is self-disciplined. This is the thing that separates a, a, a high-demand high woman, a most wanted woman, from a lot of other women who are just out here frolicking. She is disciplined. She goes to bed. She gets up. She has a routine. She is disciplined. She's not rigid, but she is disciplined. She is also dedicated. And that dedication is to her, to her discipline, to her mindset, to her man, to her family, to her, her job, whatever it is, she is dedicated. That translates into loyalty, accountability, foundational things that a man can rely upon of a woman to be there. A woman who's disciplined and dedicated is a woman that a man does not need to watch his six all the time and she is discerning you can be disciplined and not discerning this is when you see a lot of women who you might think have a shot at this but then on Instagram half their pictures are with their ass to you discerning discernment this is what's going to be whether it's your children, she's going to have to teach the children discernment. She's going to have to know discernment. 
Oh, I'm not going to go this way. I'm going to go that way. I'm not going to go out with these girlfriends or I'm not going to go to this party. I'm not going to go to these things. This is a woman that does not have to be told what she just knows. Well, that's not a good look. That doesn't fit with who I am. What? No, no, no. Discipline, but not rigid, dedicated, and discerning. Now we're talking about a real a, a woman, okay? <clears throat> Somebody asked how they turn their hyenas into a lion pride. You can't. That's something else. That's something completely different. You can't. I just saw that. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right, let's get to the next part. Ladies, do you have the right mindset? Agreeable, cooperative, and smart? Are you fit, disciplined, dedicated, and discerning? The next one. A most wanted woman, a high-demand woman, is feminine. It's not conditional femininity. It's not this off and on, up and down femininity that so many women today seem to toggle back and forth and back and forth between. The femininity is constant. She's feminine. And how do you know if a woman is constantly feminine? Well, because she's affectionate. That means publicly and privately. She shows affection. A woman that is affectionate looks at you with soft eyes and a warm heart and a slight smile. She looks at her children. She looks at children in, a, in, a, in, a, in another way with warm eyes. Affection. And this is where so many modern women are falling short. Because you guys, you ladies do not know how to show feminine affection. This is not throwing that thing back. It's not that. Feminine affection. When a man is greeted with feminine affection, he feels it. There's no question when you're in the presence of feminine affection. There are many women who can look the part, yet they don't have the emotive ability to physically, to feminine, to be affectionate in a feminine way. Next, you know a woman is feminine if she is accommodating. This is not a yes woman. This is not a whatever you like. But this is a, okay. Okay. A woman that's accommodating, okay, give, 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 give you an example, a sexual example. You know a woman that's accommodating? When you, you sleep and you land to the side, and a woman who's accommodating... And when uh, you touch on her leg and she arch her back a little bit and toot it up a little bit, and then she moves her leg in a certain way so you can slide that, that thong up just right over there, and she just, yes, come on, come on, come on, man. That's an accommodating woman. This is morning sex. Her breath is going that way, your breath is going that way, but she knows exactly how to accommodate. Daddy, daddy touch. She's like, arch, black, thump, wow, a comma, damn, date. Accommodating. I don't need a cookbook. Yeah, she's accommodating. Your requests are not burdens to her. You like waffles? She learns how to make waffles. You like French toast? She learns how to make French toast. You whatever you like, she does it because that's part of the feminine being feminine, affectionate and accommodating. 
Now, a lot of women will say that they're feminine, but they're not. The, they're very low on affection, and accommodating is a is a feminine is a different type of agreeableness. Okay. Holla, holla. Ja Rule, that chick I talked to, she was not feminine. No affection, not accommodating at all. Feminine. Unconditional feminine. Affectionate, accommodating, and she has a subtle sophistication. Subtle sophistication. This is the kind of woman that can be in Chanel or she can be in a sundress and still carries herself with the same level of class, dignity, and respect. Subtle sophistication is not pretentious. Subtle sophistication looks directly ahead. Its nose isn't up. It ain't feeling itself. Subtle sophistication makes people in a lower socioeconomic class, people that are lower than her, feel comfortable in her presence. Subtle sophistication is humble. That's what a feminine woman is. There may be other things, but at its core, she's affectionate, accommodating, with a subtle sophistication. These are some characteristics of most wanted women across the board. Any race, any place, any time, any season, any reason. You don't have to go looking hard. You don't have to go looking uh, far and wide, women like this are highly sought after in high demand, typically snapped up quickly. Next. What else are some characteristics of women, most, uh, women in the most demand? Are you guys, are we, are we on board with all this? I told you, told you, told you, told you, huh? Yep, told you, get the likes up. All right, when the likes get up, we get the chat back on. High demand women. They're naturally nurturing. Naturally nurturing. I didn't say they're natural nurturers. They're naturally nurturing. What does that mean? They have this carefree, but yet disciplined, dedicated, discerning side, but they're still kind of carefree. That means that's the not rigid part of them. There's a carefree, loving, easygoing nature a lightness about a woman who's naturally nurturing. Meaning that everything that I've discussed earlier is not an imposition. You need to be affectionate and accommodating, not a bother, but could. It's not, what? They, she takes pleasure and pride in being a woman. This is a woman that on Mother's Day celebrates mothers, but on Father's Day, it offends her that women celebrate fathers because being a woman in her mind is the best thing in the world. She doesn't want to be anything other than that. It's not a scarcity mentality to where I got to take from men I got to chop this down in order to build this up. A naturally nurturing woman has an abundance mindset. 
Meaning, if you spend most of your time in fear, scarcity, and lack, you're not a natural nurturer. A natural nurturer looks at a dying plant and says, I'm going to bring it back to life. A naturally nurturing woman looks at something that's broken, baby bird wing, whatever. We're not talking about broken men because that's the discernment. She looks at something that needs needs to be fixed or repaired and asks the question, should I? Not can I, should I? Mindset, fit, feminine, naturally nurturing. These are some of the characteristics of women who are in the most, the most wanted women, the highest demand women. You ask a man who is a thorough put together man, and I can almost guarantee you that the woman he's looking for, the woman he truly desires, wants, desires, and is seeking for has these characteristics. It's not about being an 8, 9, or a 10. Again, the most important thing is mindset. Fit. Fitness, discipline, dedication, and discernment. Femininity. I mean, not femininity. She's feminine. Affection and accommodating with a subtle sophistication. Naturally nurturing and carefree, loving, easygoing lightness about you. Now, you will often find that women like this, people are like, how, how do these women get these high value men who are just average looking? They got this. They got this and they got them early on. But the, and women like this don't wait. Women like this are wanting to get on with their life. They're not saying, oh, I need to go to the highest bidder or the tallest dude or the best looking guy. They get on and off because these women, these women want to get on into the important part of life, which is uh, friends, family, network, and community. So every year behind a job, earning a paycheck is making a living. These women, these women want to get on with making a life. This is what makes these women the most wanted. Because they're ready to go. Oh, ready to make a life. Oh, yeah, let's go. This is what puts these women in high demand. It ain't their PhDs. It ain't there. It ain't all. It ain't a lot of stuff that women have been told. Somebody's going to ask me where does beauty fit in that category. Glad you asked. Beauty. I've said it how many times. Men will go down in beauty to go up. To go up in wanted status. Most wanted women, high demand women. What are we going to call it? Most wanted women, high demand women. What are we going to call it? High demand women, most wanted women? Because there's high value men and most wanted women. High value men, high demand women. Which one do y'all want? High value men, high demand women? Or is it high value men, most wanted women? Which one do y'all think? That's what I'm going to leave to the chat. Is it high demand women or is it most wanted women? That they mean almost the same thing interchangeably. What do we think in the chat room? Is it M W most want? Is it M W W most wanted women, or is it high demand women, or is it H D W? M W W or H D W? Which one is it? Which one is it? Now, see, people are talking about no high demand, high demand, high demand. Yeah, America's most wanted really messed up the most wanted moniker, right? America's most wanted messed up the most wanted moniker. I'm not even going to lie. 
Yeah, okay. It looks like high demand wins. Okay, here's the thing. Now, there are people who are saying no tattoos. And, you know, I'm going to say this, guys. Look, that is going to... Shout out to Mr. and Mrs. Super. Came through with the 199 Oh, damn, it came through heavy. Appreciate it. So King, been a member for 12 months. Said, Kev, I'm speaking facts as always. Appreciate it. J.D. Claw. J.D. says, good to be here. All right, let's open the chat room. Let's open the Zoom because I want to answer some questions for women. High demand women. Women who are in Recording high demand. Recording in progress. I can see either way. A woman that's in high demand is going to be highly sought after. And, and here's the thing. Men don't look at women like this as... Um, they don't mind investing and in, 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 in doing stuff for women like this. See, women like this, men are more than happy to do what he needs to do. Men don't feel like, oh, man, she want me to pay all that. Dudes are like, shit. That's it? Yeah, man. Matter of fact, women like this, because they, because they, they provide so much value to them, to their man, the men are happy, happy to make sure she gets what she needs. That's what happens when you're a high demand woman. Men are happy to see their women. These are the women who get the, you know, uh, we were talking about the other night. These are the women who get the lifestyle. And the things many of you women say you want. But they earn it. It ain't even like they earn it. How where did I get these some of these concepts? I'm gonna tell you. I talk to I talk to the kind of men you ladies want. I talk to the kind of men you ladies say you want. And you know the things that a lot of these a lot of these men say? that's important to them is so far off from what a lot of you women think. It's so off from what a lot of you women think. Uh, and the, the women who, the men who, who watch the show, I'm going to tell you, a lot of men watch this show and they're just quietly in the cut. They follow it. And on YouTube, they can follow. But on Instagram, a lot of people follow me but won't click the follow button because they don't want to hear all the crap from the, from, the, from the, the, the people who just give everybody crap. But the reality is, what have I said, ladies, that is difficult to do for a woman who wants the kind of lifestyle an outcome many of you ladies say you want. A high demand woman. Do you want to be a woman that's in high demand? That's the question. Do you want to be a woman that's in high demand? Do you? Do you want to be a woman that's highly sought after? Do you want to be a woman that men are looking to lock down quickly? Men don't look to lock down women who are not in high demand. Men don't look to lock down women who are not highly sought after. Men don't look to lock down women who are not most wanted. Men have sex with those women. And a lot of women think because a man will sleep with you that he will marry you. A lot of and here's something, ladies. You're either in high demand or you're not. And if you're in high demand and you're not married, when a man first meets you, 
and he recognizes you're a woman in high demand, he's going to ask himself, why isn't this woman married? Why isn't this woman married? And if he comes to the conclusion that, well, I'm not going to give you that game. I'm not going to give you that one. So, ladies, are you a high-demand woman? <laughs>